Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel. We've got some very important and exciting news for you today. The Social Security Administration, SSA, has just released a major update that will impact millions of Americans who receive Social Security benefits, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, and Veterans Affairs, VA, benefits. We'll explain the new update from the SSA and what it means for you. Find out why this announcement is so important and how it could affect your benefits. Learn who is eligible to receive these direct payments. Understand how much money you can expect to receive in these payments. Discover if there are any special conditions or requirements you need to meet. We'll provide the exact dates when these payments will be deposited into your accounts. Get tips on how to check your payment status and ensure everything is in order. Make sure you qualify for these payments by understanding the eligibility requirements. We'll go over who qualifies and what steps you might need to take if you're unsure about your eligibility. Find out where you can get more information and assistance if you have any questions or need help. We'll share useful resources and contact information to help you stay informed and get the support you need. Attention! Beneficiaries! If you're receiving Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, Social Security Disability Insurance, or VA benefits, listen up. The Social Security Administration has just released a major update, and it's bringing some much needed financial relief your way. This Monday, three direct payments are scheduled to hit your accounts, and you won't want to miss out. Stay tuned as we break down all the details of this exciting announcement and what it means for you and your monthly income. In a press release issued late last week, the Social Security Administration announced several key updates regarding benefits for millions of Americans. This is huge news that will directly impact recipients of Social Security Retirement Benefits, SSI Disability Payments, SSDI, and VA Compensation and Pension Benefits. The headline here is that the SSA is releasing three separate direct payments to beneficiaries, all set to deploy this coming Monday, May 29 th. First up is a cost of living adjustment or COLA payment. If you're on fixed income benefits like Social Security or SSDI, you know how much higher prices have gotten over the last year due to inflation. Groceries, gas, rent it all adds up. To help offset these increased living costs, the SSA has authorized an 8.7% COLA increase for 2024. This is actually the highest annual COLA bump in over 40 years. It's a recognition that retirees, the disabled, and other fixed-income recipients have been getting slammed by inflation and need a bigger raise in their monthly checks. For the average Social Security recipient, this COLA increase amounts to around $144 extra per month in 2024 based on the current average benefit of $1,657. For those on SSDI, it translates to a $126 monthly raise on average. The COLA payment coming on Monday will be a lump sum to make up for the shortfall between current benefits and the new increased amount for the first few months of 2024. Our second direct payment is specifically for those receiving Supplemental Security Income or SSI. SSI is a needs-based program for low-income Americans who are disabled, blind, or elderly with limited resources. In addition to the COLA increase, the SSA has authorized an increase to the SSI federal payment standard for 2024. The new maximums are $914 per month for an eligible individual, $57 increase, and $1,371 per month for an eligible couple, $81 increase. Like the COLA, this boost is meant to help SSI recipients with the higher costs they are facing due to excessive inflation over the past year. The lump sum going out Monday will cover the increases for previous months. For around 8 million Americans, this mid-year payment raise for SSI will provide some extra breathing room in their monthly budgets. The third and final direct payment applies to veterans receiving disability compensation and pension benefits from the VA. Similar to Social Security's COLA increase, the VA has implemented a Compensation Cost of Living Adjustment or COLA for 2024. This 8.7% raise is the highest increase for veteran benefits in decades as well. For a veteran with a 100% disability rating, this equates to an extra $181 per month on average. For those at lower disability levels, the increase is obviously less but still a welcome boost. 
The lump sum going out Monday will make up for the higher amounts owed to veterans for the first part of the year before the COLA kicked in. These direct deposits hitting accounts next week will undoubtedly be celebrated by millions of benefit recipients nationwide. The extra money will help retirees, the disabled, the elderly, and veterans make ends meet amid staggeringly high inflation. Beyond just the one-time direct payments, this new SSA update includes some other important changes as well. First, the income limits to qualify for Social Security and SSI benefits have been raised for 2024. This means some recipients may see their payments increase as they fall under new income thresholds. For Social Security, the income limits have been raised to $17,240 for individuals and $23,340 for married couples to receive any benefits. For the SSI program, the individual income cap has increased to $9,720 per year, while the cap for couples is now $14,940. By raising these income thresholds, the SSA is allowing more people to either start receiving benefits or get their full amount without as much being held back. Additionally, the SSA is raising the asset limits for the Supplemental Security Income Program. Previously, individuals were limited to only $2,000 in countable assets like savings to remain eligible for SSI. For couples, the limit was $3,000. As of May 2024, those limits have increased significantly to $4,623 in assets for an individual and $6,929 for a couple. This opens up SSI eligibility for many seniors and disabled people who were previously just over the allowable asset thresholds. By raising these limits, many more low-income Americans should now qualify for the SSI payments and other benefits. For those currently in higher education, there is also good news from the SSA. The student earned income exclusion that allows students to earn more money before seeing Social Security benefits reduced has been extended further. Previously, a student could earn up to $7,670 per year without any deductions from their benefits. For 2024, this student exclusion has been raised to $9,180 annually or $765 per month. This change provides more flexibility for students who need to earn extra income while still maintaining their eligibility for disability benefits through Social Security. Finally, the SSA has adjusted the eligibility requirements and determination process for qualifying disabilities under Social Security. Some previously excluded conditions may now be covered, while some other impairments face higher evidence standards. Overall, the SSA says these reforms are aimed at making disability determinations more consistent, clear, and up-to-date with current medical knowledge around physical and mental impairments. The changes are fairly complex based on each condition, so those applying for disability benefits should speak with the SSA about their specific situation and how their eligibility may be impacted. So in summary, while the one-time direct payments for the COLA increase and SSI raise are the big headlines this week, these other SSA reforms could open more doors for people to access benefits as well. Now for some practical details regarding these upcoming direct payments namely, when you can expect to see the money hit your account and roughly how much to expect. For the COLA and VA payment increases, there is no need to take any action. These will arrive automatically as direct deposits or mailed checks based on your regular Social Security, SSDI, or VA payment schedule and delivery method. For those receiving Social Security retirement benefits, the lump sum COLA payment should arrive on Monday, May 29 th or your next scheduled payment date after that. The average recipient can expect a lump sum of around $1,200, with exact amounts varying based on your monthly benefit. The same timeline applies for those on SSDI, with that COLA catch-up payment arriving on the 29th or shortly after. The lump sums will be similarly sized at around $1,000 on average. For veterans, the catch-up payments will be issued on the normal VA payment schedule over the next several months. Most will see a deposit in late May or early June. As for the SSI increases, Beneficiaries do have to take a specific action to receive the lump sum payment from the Higher Federal Benefit Standard. Completing this streamlined app will trigger the release of your back payment for the new benefit standard. 
SSI recipients should expect the new maximum monthly amounts of $914 for individuals or $1,371 for couples going forward. The lump sum will depend on your specific prior monthly payment, but should average around $500 per person. For those who started receiving SSI benefits in 2023 or currently have an existing claim, the SSA will automatically issue the new maximum monthly payment amount going forward. Your lump sum back payment may take a bit longer to process though. The key dates are to file the streamlined application before June 15 th to get your SSI increase as quickly as possible. Overall, these upcoming direct payments and other benefit changes from the SSA should provide some welcome financial relief for millions of fixed-income Americans struggling with high inflation and soaring costs of living. The 8.7% COLA increases are historic in size and absolutely vital to allow beneficiaries to keep up with rising expenses for food, housing, utilities and more. The SSI increases and expansions to income and asset limits will also open the door for many more people in need to access these crucial disability benefits. While the changes are not a perfect solution, they demonstrate the SSA is serious about preserving the buying power of benefits during these tough economic times.